hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to psychology welcome back to psychology channel <laughs> it's been a while guys <laughs> so today's uh, blogging <laughs> today's blogging is just all about the republic versus nigeria yeah, why tag it that way is that because of the recent happenings, the recent increase in food stuff like this, right? Like this, you can see it on the screen. You can see it on the screen. Different prices, different um, prices that is being tagged today. So we're going to look at it this way. And... Uh, like you have seen some of the items that you see on the screen i will start off with housing yes because why i want us to um why i want us to break this down is that a lot of people say one or two things to me when i make the last video i put um, the video i posted i said a lot of people are moving back to a lot of nigerians are moving back to nigerians because of the exchange rate so but please, before I go further, if you <laughs> have not subscribed up to this month, please subscribe to Psychology channel. And if you have done that, remember to turn up the notification button so that you get to know, you get to get a notification whenever I post a new video. And comment, like, and share. All these are encouraging me. You know what? Funny enough, I always get busy answering questions people contacting me on daily basis on this channel is overwhelming and uh, thank you so much because it shows me that i'm creating impact so let's go in one of it is house i want to correct some impressions some people think that because of yes naira is good sefa is good but as of as as it stands now, if you present Sefa and Naira for me, I will collect Sefa. Tell me why. If I change Sefa, I will get even more money in Naira. That is why I will not take Sefa. That's why I will not take Naira. So you can take Naira, but me I will take Sefa. Not that I'm rejecting my money, but I'm telling you when I I change the Sefa, I will have more Naira. So. Talking about house issue, as in house rent, payment of house, let's take it now. I will talk about Lagos, I will talk about Asaba, and then I will talk about Oka, the ones I know and I have done my findings. Getting a house in Lagos State now, I was speaking with somebody this evening. So here, uh, I was speaking with somebody this evening and he said that a lot of things, not even agents you talk about, they have a, a way you pay 10% this is agent, they try to install, uh, extract, your, extract your money, even before you do it, maybe, let's exa uh, for example, you get a house that they are paying, two rooms and a parlor that they are paying 800,000, you have to pay 10% of it, with, they call it cushion fee. Uh, Nigeria is learning from the Republic on this one because I've never heard about cushion fee before. I only heard hear, hear about agent fee. Then you pay. She can close that door for me first. I'm hearing noise. So, and you pay. There's a certain amount of money you drop. You drop. They don't call it cushion. And it's not even up to cushion. But here in the Republic, they specify it. You will pay three months cushion. And they will tell you if you're going and you don't have any, you didn't destroy anything in the house, you will, you will, um, call, they will give you your money back. But if you spoil something, they will still take some money out of it. Now, house rent in Lagos is very, very exuberant. Yes, very, very on a high side. Imagine two rooms and a parlor, you're paying for 800,000. And you have to pay agents, they call it the three, three, three. Uh, and department that will collect money from you before you, they will connect you to the landlord before you pay but here is just only one the agent will tell you if you choose the house if you choose the house you're gonna give me one month one month 
house rent you give it to the agent that is just what they want that is if you have a house of hundred thousand sefer you're going to be giving the agent hundred thousand sefer then if you have a house of ten thousand sefer you give the agent ten thousand sefer no matter how much it is then secondly house in asaba is very 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 wrong very very high i don't know because it's all this movie uh, celebrity that have moved down to asaba that made it made it like that now i ask somebody that if you are getting a room a two rooms apartment in asaba how much will be will you be looking at he said there's a place you will see they will tell you 800 900 thousand and you have to pay it for one year you pay for one year and the uh, agent and other things that are involved then coming down to Oka, the same thing, only that is a little bit, uh, and the difference is just like 50,000 naira difference, but you have to pay for one full year. Then come back to Benin Republic, if you get a house that you like and you want to do, they will just tell you three months cushion, one month house rent. Then if you want to pay like two months house rent, they will tell you three months cushion, two months house rent, one month um, one month for the agent which is everything in six months then after two months you start paying back you start paying one one month which one is better and another thing is that when you're moving into the because when i got to find a house for somebody one of my subscribers recently i found out that sometimes if you want to be on the safer side when you get a house here in benin public request to paint it yourself if you paint it yourself, if you're going out, they will not touch your cushion except you spoil anything. They will give you because the person that left the house, they gave him completely three months cushion he paid. I was there, I saw it. This is not the set because I went to pay for the house. And right there, right now and there, the guy collected three months cushion from them 40, 40,000. They gave him 21,000 20, um, 120,000 sefer. I was asking why he said that he was the one that painted the house. So, and I told the person that I find the house for, I said that, see, you have to paint it yourself because so that when you are going, you will not be in a problem. Fine, and good enough, you is only you and your wife, so it is good for you. So, now let's talk about food stuff. Rice in Nigeria, a bag of rice is hundred thousand, ninety thousand, and uh, you're not sure of getting the good one because one nigerians are very good in mixing you will go to buy something that is is versus what i purchase versus what i they gave me that is what it is but here a bag of rice is 26,000 sefer 26,000 sefer you have the one of 21,000 you have the one of 25,000 but why i say 26,000 is the best because you cook it and you it's sweet even you can eat it with only salt it's very sweet <laughs> so i'm telling you from experience so that is it and uh, there is nothing like missing and it's like price is being checkmate you cannot just come when you go move into the uh, into the farm like topa or you move into misebo you find out that when you ask this person this person is selling 26,000 you ask the next person 26 you ask the next person 26 you ask the next person the same price not like when you come here as they say 30 you go to that place they say 40 you get to this place they say 40 it's not like that then now some people move down to nigeria a lot of them say that they if they have at least i've heard some Few people say if they have known they would have maintained staying here not that you're running away from your country but you're you are going to a place you will see light when you count what your expenses for the day for what you're doing the the, the fuel you're buying and everything you find out that there are some calculation you need to mean you you make before you taking a move i tell people that irrational decision is not good sometimes so what am i trying to say i'm not condemning condemning i'm not condemning my country but i'm saying that some certain things is better here in Benin republic and some certain things are better in nigeria but if you have something you're doing here to feed your family i will still advise you to hold on let's see what comes out of nigeria but for now for now 
they talked about dollar rising that is why the food stuff is rising but for now the dollar has come down but this food is keep increasing day by day yes quote me because i do my findings before i make a video things keep increasing every day by day things keep increasing on the high side every day by day irrespective of they say that is dollar so one thing i want to say in this video is that we are the problem of ourselves not even the government not even the government because you find out the masses and the person that is selling one to extort from the person that is buying you build a house you put it in a high price because you know that somebody will come and rent it it must be this amount yes i heard that nigerians um the government is coming into um um rent issue in nigeria they have to checkmate it but one thing is that nigerians know how to talk they have to make so much noise on the, on the media houses or as in on the media talk about what they will do but fail to implement it let me show you for example helmets helmets for people that are riding kekeno call it kekeno here or kada riders they said it in here in Benin Republic, they give time. It made it that time bridge. If you say they burn you well, ride without helmets, you are going to pay a fine right there and there and there. You are going to give them 10,000 sefer before they release you. And if they release you, you still enter that bike and be going. You meet another place and the police stop you, you pay them the same amount of money. So, and it is like that. Hence, they say they carry out as in law abiding citizen. That is what we are lacking in Nigeria. There is no law abiding. We are, we make laws and we break it. We say that this will be like this, this will be like this. But at the end of the day, we don't even keep it. That is one of the problems Nigerians have. No laws, no laws abiding. We are not laws abiding citizens here you they will catch you and you will bribe a policeman <laughs> it's like you want to go to the prison you will not dare open your mouth you can even if you're begging you will still beg they will not leave you you will pay that fine but in nigeria you will find out that when you beg they say they collect 200 200 and collect 1000 for you and put it inside their pocket it's their personal money but here they work for government and they collect it and it's been account for they take you to the police you pay for it so and when they put something it's working that way why can't we achieve that in nigeria so what am i trying to say is that yes but the republic still have in this law uh, in this law keeping law abiding citizens i think the republic is better they keep that law and they, everybody is afraid of that and one of the things they don't mess up with is that if you do something that you will lead you to the prison, no, I beg. I don't know. I am ignorant. You will spend that year, and the uh, devil want to punish you. If you are a, if you are a Beneno and you fail, and you fall into their trap, you will spend that one year. They said and it's stamp. No matter the amount of money you pay, you will stay, stay there. They even have their their own is even flexible for foreigners. They will say you are ignorant of that, but you will still go. If it is one year, you will still stay six months. They will six months or five months. Then they will, will pay. They will leave you. But if you are a Benenoa, you will pay. You will spend that one year there. So why Nigerians cannot come up with this? Because our governments are not interested in the well-being, in the well-being of Nigerians, keeping it right. So that's what I want to say in this video. For those of people. So for those of you that are asking why are they moving, I think I'll clarify you. So that is why they are moving. So thank you so much for watching my channel again. God bless you. Bye.